the KF5F is the domestically produced variant of the Northrop F5F Tiger II developed under license by Korean Air as part of South Korea's broader efforts to enhance its military aerospace capabilities. Manufactured between 1980 and 1986, the KF-5F represents an important milestone in South Korea's defense industry, making the country the third largest producer of fighter jets in Asia, behind Japan and Taiwan. Of the 68 KF-5 series aircraft, 20 are KF-5F models, with the rest being single-seat KF-5E fighters. The KF-5F's production was part of a seven-year domestic fighter jet manufacturing project, which achieved a 21% localization rate. Korean Air was responsible for assembling the aircraft, while Samsung Precision now Hanwha Aerospace Supply Components. The first KF-5F, nicknamed Yi Gong Ho, as to conquer the sky, was officially unveiled on September 9, 1982, during a ceremony attended by President Chun Du Wan. The KF-5F play a crucial role in the modernization of the Republic of Korea Air Force. A total of 68 KF-5E and F aircraft were deployed to several fighter squadrons, including the 101st, 112, 201st, 206, and 207th, where they have continued to serve as key defenders of South Korean airspace. While the KF-5F shares much of its design with the original F-5F, several modifications were made to suit the needs of the Republic of Korea efforts. The most noticeable change is the shark nose radar, which improves aerodynamics, and the enlarged leading edge extension, which enhances lateral stability during high angle of attack maneuvers. An automatic flap system was also introduced, optimizing wing shape based on fly conditions to improve maneuverability. Internally, the KF-5 saw a rearrangement of electronic devices, leading to the repositioning of the AOA van from the right to the left side of the fuselage. Additional structural modifications included the installation of a wing fence to prevent tip stalling and the incorporation of a pressurization vent on the canopy's rear frame. The KF-5F, like its predecessor, is equipped with a 20mm M39A2 cannon and can carry a range of air-to-ground and air-to-air -air weapons. For our ground targets, it operates Mark 82 bombs, 2.75-inch rocket pods, Mark 20 armor destroying cluster bombs, and CBU-58 cluster munitions. In air-to-air -air combat, it employs AIM-9P3 Sidewinder missiles, with the AIM-9P4 variant featuring a more advanced seeker capable of limited omnidirectional engagement. A unique feature of the KF-5 series is its ability to deploy the Korean-made KGGB Korea GPS guided bombs. This precision guided bomb can hit targets up to 100 km away, allowing for strikes from outside enemy air defense networks. The radar system was upgraded to the ANABG-159 offering double the detection range of earlier models, while the aircraft's countermeasure capabilities were enhanced with the ANALE-40 dispenser for chaff and flares, and the ANAL-R46 radar warning receiver. The KF-5F 
has primarily served in a dual role within the Republic of Korea Air Force as both an air defense fighter and an advanced jet trainer. Despite being designed in the 1960s, the F-5 series continues to play a crucial role in South Korean defense. Its introduction into service in the early 1980s coincided with the Republic of Korea's efforts, efforts to modernize its fleet and reduce its reliance on imported aircraft. The KF-5F and its counterpart in the KF-5E and F-5E series have been deployed in several frontline squadrons, tasked with defending key South Korean airspace. Despite being considered somewhat outdated compared to modern fighters, the KF-5F remains operational thanks to various upgrades over the years, particularly in avionics, radar, and weapon systems. The TAP has seen action in numerous military exercises and patrol missions, serving as a reliable platform for both air defense and pilot training. However, like many older aircraft, it has also been involved in several accidents, including a tragic crash in 2010 that led to significant upgrades to the ejection seats on all F-5 models in South Korean service. In an era dominated by advanced mountain drone fighters like the F-35, the KF-5F's role in modern warfare is increasingly limited. While it remains a capable air defense fighter and an important part of pilot training, its aging airframe and relatively limited combat capabilities have prompted the Republic of Korean efforts to begin phasing out the F-5 series. However, the KF-5 still serves as a valuable role in South Korea's layer defense strategy, particularly against low-tech threats such as small aircraft or drones. Its ability to carry precision-guided munitions, including the KGGB, ensures that it can still provide useful support in certain combat scenarios. Even if it is no longer the frontline fighter it once was. The KF 5F is gradually being replaced by more modern aircraft, most notably the F A 50, a light attack aircraft and trainer developed indigenously by Korea Aerospace Industry. The F A 50 is a more advanced platform offering better avionics, a more powerful radar, and the ability to carry a wide range of modern weapons. The transition to the F-A-50 and other next-generation fighters marks the beginning of the end of the KF-5F, although the TAP is expected to remain in service in a training and secondary defense role for several more years.